<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Recombo. It's Basil here with the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. The Xperia Z Ultra is the latest large screen phone from Sony. In fact, it's the first packing something this big. It's a 6.4 inch display coupled with a 6.5 inch girth, making it one of the slimmest smartphones on the market. Um, what's really great about it is it also packs a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at a whopping 2.2 gigahertz. We're going to start off by talking yeah. about the design and immediately it's just all about that screen 6.5 uh, 6.5 inches the four inches sorry full hd largest full hd smartphone on the market on screen capacitive buttons standard android ui which we're going to come on to with a few tweaks front facing camera and sensor on the left hand side you've got the dot connector you've also got what looks like a power connector we can pop open that flap this is ip58 certified so you're going to be able to dunk this underwater it's like for like with the samsung galaxy s4 active um on the are there any other ports on there sorry yep on the right hand side you go on the other other side yeah you've got the 3.5 mil headphone jack the headphone jack by the way again like the s4 active is water resistant so you don't need to worry about a flap for that one micro sd card slot underneath the flap power button and again it's in the similar position to the sony xperia Z. Um, Sony conducted loads of research. Power button here is the most ergonomic place to have it, and it's pressed loads of times throughout the day. We're really huge fans of that. Volume rocker at the base, just a loud speaker. On the reverse, you've got that 8 megapixel camera and an NFC point. Okay. Now moving on to the display, and that tri-luminous display really does shine. We had a few criticisms of the Xperia Z when it came to viewing angles, but you can see this really, really does remedy those with its tri-luminous screen tech. Um, as we said, full HD display, so a very respectable PPI, and it does look stunning. Android 4.2 is uh, 4.2.2 is on board. Um, so while it looks very similar to stuff we've seen from Sony before, there are a few tweaks. If we jump into the App Store, for example, and we just swipe from the left, we can see a whole host of options which make things like uninstalling applications and arranging them a whole lot easier. Flipping through the rest of the UI and you can see pull down notifications bar with some quick settings and if we long press we can do all the things that we know and love like resize widgets and change our themes. Jumping on to specs and we've got that eight Qualcomm 800 2.2 gigahertz Snapdragon processor in there. And what's more, two gigabytes of RAM, um, 16 gig internal memory, coupled with micro SD expandability, up to 64 gigabytes. If you want to check back uh, for our full review, we should be expecting this device Q3 2013. Um, but as for a first look, this has been Basil with Recombi. Hope you've enjoyed. Any questions, just fire them in the comment section below.